Good evening YouTube, Full Circle Review back here again with another review. Got two Oreos for you. I have Oreos Lady Gaga. Pink colored golden cookie with green, green cream. Serving size is two cookies at 150 calories. 7 grams of fat. 20 grams of carbs and less than 1 gram of protein. And then I got Oreo Chocolate Hazelnut Cream Filling. Serving size is 2 cookies at 140 calories, 6 grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of protein. There we go. Um, well, I'm not really super excited about either of these, but I think I'll start with the Lady Gaga one. Now, I like some Lady Gaga because, you know, she taught me how to have a p -p 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 poker face. But I just don't know about green cream and pink cookies. This, this sounds like a Dr. Seuss cookie. There it is. It does look like something out of Dr. Seuss. And it says on the back, Chromatica, whatever that is. But there's a lot of cream in here. A lot. A lot of cream. But we're going to try it. So this is basically just a golden Oreo with a whole bunch of dye. I'm tasting something. It's almost like a nuttiness. This cookie is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. I wish that there were notes of vanilla and butter and salt. All I get is um, a shortening flavored shortbread cookie with a bad wang of dye. The sweetness is about ripe, but it's just plain sweetness. There's no vanilla. There is no um, butter. That weird taste is in the cookie. Cookie's a little underdone. It could be toasted more. Yeah, this is just underwhelming. I would go with regular uh, golden Oreos just because there's some something in these. It almost comes across as like ground pecan. It's like a very light nutty flavor. I like it, but I know it's not Golden Oreo. Uh, Lady Gaga, um, 71 out of 100, they could improve by putting vanilla in the cookie using butter instead of shortening. Flavoring the cream would say vanilla. I kind of like that nuttiness. I feel like if they could find a way to extenuate that, they could promote it to its own cookie flavor. Just the dyes here, it comes across as very unnatural. This is just... This is just weird. I'm not buying this again. So let's try the chocolate hazelnut flavored cream. Now I know that uh, Ferraro uh, doesn't like to do collaborations with other companies. But I do wish that Nabisco or them Mondelez people could uh, make friends with them so that we could actually have real Nutella inside of an Oreo. That would be something to write home about. I smell, it smells almost like just unsweetened cocoa. Man, I hope this tastes like Nutella. I always forget how hard an Oreo is. A 
Okay, so first off, I get a good flavor of Dutch processed cocoa. Not too, it's not too chemically. It's actually pr pretty natural. Mmm. Good, strong chocolate flavor. And then I get this hint of hazelnut. Not Nutella. It tastes like hazelnut. This is good. I mean, this is good. Imagine peanut butter made with hazelnuts, slightly sweetened. That's basically what that is. It's it's a it's a lighter at the end of the bite flavor. You mainly get that upfront strong natural cocoa, which I really like. Accented with hazelnut. That's actually a very elegant cookie. I would I would buy that again. Um the chocolate hazelnut cream. Is there any hazelnuts in here? Uh, nonetheless, um, 88 out of 100, they can improve by making the hazelnut flavor a little more natural. This comes across as almost like a coffee creamer to me. A little unnatural. I wish it was stronger with a more roasted hazelnut flavor and salted. Um, cream's a little too sweet, and I get a little bit of an artificial wang in there, I think, from their shortening instead of butter. Use butter. Make the cookies crispy, not hard. Love the cocoa flavor, though. This is one to go out and try. If you like hazelnuts, hazelnut coffee creamer, understand it's not Nutella, it's hazelnut. Great, great, though. If you want to see more Oreo reviews, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and y'all take care.